Okay. So you can start with your seminar topic. What is your topic? Uh, hmm? Ma'am, my topic is yeah, normal chemical re, uh, composition of urine. Okay, are you going to do share screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, you start. Uh, hello, ma'am. Is it yes? Visible? No, not yet. Yeah, yeah, it's visible now. Hello, everyone. My name is Inkamshi Amara from Dallas's Departure. The topic I'm going to represent is on normal chemical composition of urine. Respected ma'am and my dear friends, a very good, uh, good morning to you all. Uh, before we move into the topic, let's discuss shortly about what is urine. What is urine? Urine is a waste product of metabolism in human and in many others, other animals. Urinary system consists of a pair of pair of ureter, ureters, urinary bladder, etc., in which urine flow out from the kidney first to the urinary bladder and excrete from the body through the urethra. So, what is the color of urine? Uh, uh, the normal color of urine is yellow. What is its nature? Uh, it is usually slightly acidic with pH of a uh, pH value of six. Smell. What it? What is its smell? Pen has a pen aromatic smell due due to pen substance urinol. When it is sometimes start smelling very badly as urea degrades to ammonia. What is its specific gravity? Uh, urine specific 1.03 to 1.04, slightly heavier than water. Now uh, let us learn why it is uh, why the color of urine is very important to very important. Generally, urine color is uh, sorry I did the typing mistake here. Uh, I, is okay. generally urine color is pale yellow amber due to presence of pigment pigment called urochrome. The color, uh, the color may change according to the amount of water. And if the individual does not take sufficient water, water of urine may be dark, slightly dark yellow. If the uh, if Urine color is red, orange. It's indicating that the individual kidney is not working properly or this in your kidney. So uh, our urine color yellow. It is because of the pigment called urine. And the, our urine color matters, uh, it depends on the water intake. Uh, how much water? Uh, that depends on uh, our uh, uh, the person. So uh, urine color may change if we drink water. And Joel does not take sufficient water. The color of urine may be either yellow. So when a person does not drink sufficient of water, then uh, the urine color may be dark or slightly dark yellow because it indicating that we our body is getting dehydrated uh, it is indicating us to drink more water if the is red if the urine color is red orange it's indicating that individual's kidney is not working properly or there is a disease in your kidney so when our uh, kidney is red orange color like uh, different from our uh, normal urine color then it, it 
uh, we are having problem in our kidney uh, and is not working properly. So we need to go to check up. Uh, we need to go to check up if our urine color is not normal. So you can see from that white is hydrated and slightly this one is very good and this color is good and this is this is light dehydrated and this is and this is very hydrated and this is severe hydrated so you guys know that uh, like uh, what is our normal you know like we will know how to uh, we will know by urine that what color our urine is and if we are in our norm, uh, urine is not normal then we need to go and check up normal uh, our urine is brown or like red or orange then now coming on to the top composition of urine why we need to learn chemical composition of we need to learn chemical composition of urine because it means uh, because it uh, like we have uh, it in urine it depends on our uh, body because if we don't uh, if our keep working properly then our urine is not normal and uh, if our urine is not normal then we are having kind of some kind of disease uh, its main composition components are uh, urine main components are of 96% of water, 2% of urea, 1% of NaCl, 0.5% of ammonia, 0.18 sulfate, 0.12% of 0.6% of chloride, 0.4% of magnesium, 0.015% of calcium, 0.6% um, 0.6% of potassium, 0.1% of sodium, 0.1% of creatinine, 0.03% of uric acid, 2% uh, of urea, 2% of water. So quantity quantity of urine output per day. So uh, our urine output is between 1.5 to 1.8, but the volume of urine output depends on the It is directly proportional to water intake. Uh, intake. When uh, it means like if we drink a lot of water, suppose if, we're, if you are drinking two liter. Uh, liter then obviously your urine output will be 1.8 liters right and now coming into the second inversely proportional to physical activity so if you are doing workout or exercise then uh, the water you drink will be sweat out so your urine output may be less because you are sweating out sweating out or uh, uh, removing the water with water to your uh, sweat. So, ferment temperature. Uh, so, when uh, if it is in, if if it is uh, cold, then you will drink less less water, and the urine output may be less. Are uh, drinking uh, if you are in hot season and if you you are drinking a lot of water then you might uh, because of uh, environment temperature is hot you might sweat out uh, and uh, it will be according to your uh, environment uh, temperature By, uh, di directly proportional to like tea coffee alcohol etc we all know that uh, if we drink a lot of tea, coffee, then uh, the our uh, our more because uh, we are drinking a liquid tea, so it will be more and the urine output will be more. 
vasopressin or ADH, which is turn low absorption and increase the urine output. It is also um, our urine output is also depend on vasopressin. So, what is vasopressin uh, and ADH? Vasopressin uh, and ADH uh, or ADH is a hormone made by our hypothalamus in the brain and stored pituitary pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. <laughs> Now coming on to the topic, normal urine condition. Uh, if we, uh, if uh, normal urine con condition, uh, so uh, number one is albuminuria, fresh albumin in urine. It is also known as protein uh, glycos uh, glycosuria of glucose in urine, hematuria, presence of blood in uh, Kentonuria, presence of abnormality, high canton. I made a mistake here again. Uh, it was supposed to be E, uh, our typing mistake. Uh, high canton bodies, hemoglobinuria, presence of hemoglobin in urine. Uremia, presence of excess urea in urine. High presence of WBC or pus in urine. Uh, thank you. Uh, with this, I would like to end my uh, presentation. So anyone who have doubt can ask me. Finish. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, you have any doubts? Uh, actually, ma'am, I'm not. Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm not. Hmm? Okay. Uh, is it? Hello. Yeah. See. Uh, is uh. Anyone, do you have any doubt regarding to the topic? You ask them the questions. Hello? Do you have any doubt? You ask them the questions. You can ask them the questions, Sengkam Chi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to ask Nafisha. Nafisha? Yes. Hmm? Uh, so, can you tell me what is the urinary system consists of? The urinary system, it consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, the urinary bladder and the urethra. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Uh, Evazinia. Hello, Evazinia. Hello, oh, yes. <coughs> Hello. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, can you tell me what is the pH of our urine? Pardon? Hello? Can you tell me what is the P? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello? 
Uh, no. Uh, so can you tell me what is the pH of our urine? pH value? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, yes, pH value of, uh, of urine. Six. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Riffin. Hello, Riffin. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Can you tell me what is the substance present uh, in our uh, this one at uh, cows? Urine to smell. The substance cows urine to smell. I didn't get your question. Substance which cause urine to smell, right? And what? Urine has a hello? faint. Uh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Can yes, you urine has a faint aromatic, and it yes. is caused by. The name of the substance. Uh, do you get my question? No, no, I, I don't know this. Uh, you don't know? Okay, it's okay. Uh, because of the substance called urinoid, it, uh, this one urine is uh, smell, uh, urine aromatic smell, okay. Anyway, thank you. Um, a rich person? Hello, rich person. Uh, hello, Pr Prakriti. Prakriti, right? Can you hear me? Pinisa? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me uh, the space of Yuri? Uh, 1.03 to 1.04. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Rasmi Sonwal. Hello, yes. Rasmi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Can you tell me what is one is heavier, water or urine? Urine is heavier than water. Uh, thank you. Sally, hello, Sally, can you hear me? Yes. Tell me the name of the pigment responsible for the for urine. Uricron. Eurocron. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Hello, Malvina, can you hear me? Uh, yes. So, can you, uh, like if our urine color is kind of slightly dark or dark, what is this? In no. Let's sing can you yes. Can you repeat it again? Um, if, if our color is slightly dark or dark yellow, then it's indicating. Hydration. 
Hydration. Thank you. It is dehydration, okay? Uh, because uh, white hair color, it indicates hydration. And uh, if our urine color is dark or kind of bit blue, slightly dark yellow, then it indicates uh, it is uh, our body is dehydrated, okay? Thank you. Welcome. Ajit Kalita. Hello. Yes. Hello, Suraji. Uh, can you hear me? Can you tell me what is the percentage of uh, water in our urine? Hello? Hello. Hello. Me, Shreji. Hello. Uh, yes. yes. Um, can you tell me what is the percentage of water in our urine? 96. Thank you. 96%. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, Trishna Rajponsi. Hello, Trishna. Hello, Trishna. So, Yatu. Hello, Yatu, can you hear me? Samuel, Samuel. Hello, hear me. Sital. Yes. Can you hear me, Sital? Yes. Hello. I can hear you. Yes. Uh, so can you tell me what is our good? What is the number Sorry? of our daily output? What is the uh, number 1. of our daily output? 1.5 to 1.8 liter. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, done. Can I say okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, then. We are a little bit of network problem, but it's fine. Your presentation was good. Okay, we were able to understand, mm -hmm. and also the class was been taken before. I think I took this class before, so it was quite easier for everyone to understand. And your presentation at the same time was good, and it was audible also. Okay, even you had, even if you had a network problem, still it was all fine. And about the interactions, class in. Interactions, everyone has participated well. So, you all can do one thing that you can just give your attendance to your CR. And tomorrow, who has got the presentation? Ma'am, me, repeat, Bali. Rifian, okay. Tomorrow, I will let you know, okay. If I'm not able to take tomorrow, I will take your presentation some other day because uh, okay. actually I'll be going out of station, okay. So, uh, I can't say about tomorrow. Yeah, so that, that is the reason why I asked you yesterday that if you are able to give or not. But it's fine. There is no problem regarding that. If I don't take your presentation tomorrow, I will give you some other date. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma if I will take your presentation at the end, last. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And for tomorrow, one more, uh, this Vishal Kalita's presentation, uh, seminar presentation was left. I forgot to upload that video. So for tomorrow, I will upload Vishal Kalita's presentation. Okay. So you all can mark the attendance respectively. Okay. So you all can leave the class now. Thank you.